Ik ben in de kat, ik ben in de kat, ik ben in de kat en ik ben in de kat, ik ben in de kat, ik ben in de kat, ik ben in de kat en ik ben in de kat, ik ben in de kat, ik ben in de kat. What's up guys, it's your boy Melex, so I'm here from the Air Force Gang. Today we're back with another reaction video. We had our first reaction on the most embarrassing YouTube beef, DDG versus So Illuminati. Um, yeah, bro, I heard they beefing right now. It's 2023. I, you know, I watch um, Spiritual Soul or Soul Illuminati. Both of the, you know, <laughs> of the persons right now. Um, DDG, uh, yeah, I grew up with him, you know. When I was, uh, when I was, I'm still a young guy, but when I was, like, younger, I would watch vlogs and stuff. So, yeah, man, this guy's that, you know, he, he's that guy on YouTube as well. Soul Illuminati as well. This guy did great things for the, for the, different community the basketball community so big shout out to both of them and uh yeah man they beefing they beefing so um let's check it out the never-ending five-year beef roll the compilation five years Boodoo. hold up five years so they beefing for five years damn and they never saw each other right that's sick man the never-ending five-year beef roll the compilation Doodoo -doo garbage your time has come if you put two dookie emojis, <laughs> Good, uh, I want all the smoke. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Hold up. Let me let me try it. Hold up. Let me try that. Let me try that. Let me go on Spotify right now. But I don't know how to put the the doo doo there. Um, let me check the emotions. Uh, da, 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 da. Or maybe I can do that on the on the. Yeah. No. no, I think I cannot hold up. No, no, I need to put that on the phone. Let me let me try it on the phone. Let me try it on my phone. Hold up. To a doo doo and a, a garbage. Let's check that out. Okay. Boop 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 poop poop doo doo poop poop poop. Poo. In Dutch, we call it poop. Doo doo. Poop. Gar <laughs> what the garbage. Where that garbage at? Hold up. So, I'm. Um, bro. So, I'm. <laughs> I'm writing doo doo. The first thing that I see is I'm geeking. I know if you guys see it. Yeah. Way more clever. That's crazy already. Let me put the garbage on it. Wow, that's crazy. Do the garbage playlist. Damn, that's crazy. Um, maybe he took it away. I can't see it anymore, but... Now, I see definitely DDG, but I don't see DDG, DDG. So I think he put it away or something. He got it. He got it fixed. He got it fixed. But no, nah, bro, that's crazy. Do you see how much uh, power his his fan base got? You know, that's that's sick. With that, let's go. Who next? I'm about to DM her right now. So Illuminati, calm down. No, you sweating underarm soap right now. I know your heart beating out your chest. Damn. That's what you want. What? Oh, uh, remixing myself now. That gave me the. Oh, I ain't fucking sweet. Sit down. So, Illuminati, at this point, bro, you're a clown. I have no respect for you, bro. That don't work. Yeah. There's no way out of this. You're done. Now, for people who don't know, Soluminati has been gone off of YouTube for almost a year. Obviously, it's been a rough couple of months for So since his brother God Triller passed away in 2022. Rest, Rest in peace. peace. Rest well, peace. this past Rest week, So has returned to YouTube, but not the way that you expected. He's been posting on his third channel, Twitch So, instead of his main. For the most part, he has been posting regular workout vlogs slash update videos on where he's at mentally. But slowly but surely, Soluminati has been getting back to the groove of things by dropping some bombs here and there. Well, so decided to post a video on DDG, quote unquote, exposing him. For longtime fans, y'all know that He's this isn't done. anything new between the two since so the beef goes back to at least 2018. More on that later. 
But first, let's talk about the recent beef. This video right here just might be the tipping point of the beef, since So brought up DDG's family. He talked about Hallie and how she is a Disney puppet and brought up DDG's deceased brother. Now you may be asking, why bring up family into this? Well, from watching the video, Soluminati's point was to show that why are you still talking about me when I'm grieving for my brother's death and you're still talking about me and how I fell off. So let me show you how it feels. DDG responded saying that he didn't know about his brother's passing in the stream along with other things. And first of all, I don't know your brother, bro. No disrespect, but I can literally, I could probably Google thousands and thousands and thousands of people that died today. Ain't ain't no disrespectful thing, but I don't. That's disrespectful, bro. You know, he's saying it like it's not disrespectful, but it is disrespectful, you know? It's like, I'm saying right now, your grandma died, okay? It's cool your grandma died, but like a million people died like yesterday. That's that's not, that's not grief. That's not respectful, bro. That's not respectful, okay? That's crazy. I don't know you, I don't know his brother, bro. And I didn't know yeah, that his brother. If, and it doesn't, you know, it's, it's no problem if you don't know the brother. Just show your respect, bro. It's that guy. easy, bro. What is that supposed to? That don't have nothing to do with me. Am I supposed to like? Oh, bro, I ain't gonna. Oh, bro, did you, bro, that has nothing to do with me. Seriously, I never say anything disrespectful okay, about his brother or whatever. I don't even know who his brother is. And what's crazy is that both of them fucked with each other at one point. DDG was a fan of So and vice versa. But somewhere down the line, they turned from respecting each other to becoming ops. What exactly happened? Well, believe it or not, it started with So Illuminati. Many think the beef started when So randomly said he wanted to smash DDG's girl at the time, which was Kennedy. And the rest is history. Kennedy, I want to let you know, I give up my rap career for you. You one of those. But it actually started when Soluminati reacted to Flight's ex-girlfriend, Diamond Nicole. And basically, he said she looks like a different gender. She looked like a man. You know? <laughs> oh, my oh my god. Oh my god. Nah, that's crazy, bro. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. So is right. So is right on that. No care. I'm not gonna lie. I got bro, I had the, the same the same uh, I had the same feeling you know I, I never saw this video before just the first video that I'm watching but damn bro that picture whoo <laughs> she let's go but like. it actually started when Soluminati reacted to Flight's ex-girlfriend Diamond Nicole and basically he said she looks like a different gender on, on this like picture on that picture you know what I'm saying that's tough am I lying let me talk shit for like yo ugly as shit ugly as shit she oh, looked more manly yeah. than me. Yeah. I apologize for calling her a transgender because no, I don't. Why would I sit here and lie to y'all like that? What does this have to do with DDG or anything? You're probably this asking. Guy. Well, Diamond Nicole was not just Flight's ex. She is also DDG's cousin. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I feel knocked out. I didn't sleep. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm fine. That's crazy. So the cousin of Flight went... So no, hold up. So the cousin of DDG had a thing with flight. Crazy. This is how the beef started. DDG and So didn't have any problems before that moment, and you know So Illuminati is going to speak his thoughts whether he's right or wrong. In this case, he was extremely wrong. I can't find the video, but So also said that she was built like a lanky my player in NBA 2K to add to insult. Mind you, this stray came out of nowhere from his stream. Nobody hated no one at that point. Diamond Nicole reacted to it, and this obviously got the attention from her cousin, DDG. DDG then wanted to quote unquote settle the differences and have So Illuminati Illuminati fly out to LA to do a three-point contest between the two. Now, let's be honest, that kind of sounds sketchy. DDG wanting So to fly to where DDG lives to do a three-point contest right after Solomonati called his cousin another gender. That kind of sounds like a setup, if we're being honest. Maybe DDG's intention was to actually play a three-point contest. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Bro, hey, that would be dope to see still. You know, still. I want to see that still because I think so can play basketball, right? And DDG as well, so that would be sick. So, who wasn't having it? After I said that all along live, two hours later, DDG said, let's meet up for a 1v1. No, not the 1v1, a three-point con. It was, bro, now I'm not trying to say the nigga was trying to set me up. I'm not trying to say that. But 
you finally respond and want to meet up two hours after I just roasted the fuck out of your cousin? How would he look collabing with me after I just said his cousin looked like a transgender? You get what I'm saying? So, I'm down there with... Somebody says she look like Joanna, man. <laughs> bro, if you saw that movie, you're a legend, man. It's crazy. Ash. So, I'm thinking to myself, like, bro, if I meet up with this nigga, look, it's something that's telling me. Like my, my, but, but people please tell me down below is this actually like the the first starting beef if this is bro that's 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 crazy bro i got so many things to say but you know i will i will let it to her the eyes open it's something that's telling me it ain't gonna be no basketball going on the match never happened, and then it went haywire from there. Around, say, 2018, it started as petty shots, as DDG said he didn't like him in a video. So Illuminati being a guy who isn't known to ignore something like that, especially when it's coming from another famous content creator, responded with this caption on Instagram. The person he tagged was DDG's ex, Kennedy Simone. DDG responded on Instagram, but it was to flex on So. From that point, the two would make videos on each other. Starting with So, he quote unquote exposed DDG for being a money hungry and secure person. DDG DDG would later clap back with a response of his own. The two would release a couple more videos on each other after that, but the aftermath is something else. Since Solo Minati has a very loyal fan base, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, that escrow was that. <laughs> this situation gained a lot yeah. of haters for DDG. Comments on YouTube, Twitch, wherever would regurgitate the points Solo Minati said to him, such as being a soulless bot, and now currently doo doo garbage. It's everywhere. The dislike ratio is crazy, and all sorts of fun stuff. Damn. The situation would die down a bit until DDG released his biggest song to date in 2020, Moonwalking in Calabasas with Blueface. In the song, he sneaked this Soluminati claiming to smash his ex, Ash. DDG used some wordplay when he uses Soluminati's nickname, So, to describe him being mediocre and bad. Yeah. He even went as far as using Soluminati's patented catchphrase, that's tough. Fast forward a couple of years, DDG hasn't stopped talking about Soluminati, even when he went on a hiatus. DDG's intention was to poke the bear, and poke the bear he did. As of the time of this recording, multiple videos have been dropped by both That's so crazy. and DDG. You know, they might as well be friends at this point because beefing for five no years or half a decade has to be draining. There has to be no some care. type of love or mutual respect in there or something because there's no way the hate is still this strong to this day. I rarely give my opinions on videos like these, but to me, they should have hashed this beef a long time ago because no this, care. in all honesty, is leading to nowhere. Maybe three to five years ago, this beef could have ruined DDG's reputation or Saluminati, but right now, all this is doing is leading to nowhere. Whether you want to believe it or not, they are both solidified as legends on YouTube. DDG is no stranger to beefs as he often thrives in environments like this. Even if he isn't the one to initiate the beef, he wants you to hate on him because to him, all publicity is good for him since he can use it for promo for whatever music he wants to release. He did it with Bruce earlier 2023 and so back in 2020 with the Moonwalking in Calabasas song. Whether you like him or not, DDG is going to troll his way to the bank whether it's soulless or not. The only problem for DDG is that when people yeah. drag his name, he doesn't have a strong enough fan base to defend him. Plus, over the past year, it's become such a trend to hate on DDG that no matter what he says right, nobody will listen. Halley fans even made death threats on bro. More on that yeah. with this video I dropped a couple weeks ago. For Solo Minotti, this man will remain influential. All this this beef and back and forth between DDG and him is just icing on the cake for his already solidified YouTube career. If there's one thing that you can take away from this beef, this still shows how big of a fan base Illuminati has. No he was gone this for X amount sad. of months and he still came back like nothing ever happened. No all in care. all, people said I was glazing with the last video I posted, but after I posted that video, so Illuminati immediately came back. Coincidence? Nah. I'm not gonna cap. That dude talking is crazy. The, 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 this, nigga, this nigga has no gag reflex when it comes to so my goodness girl it was fun again as a viewer try not to take this stuff too seriously remember this is on the internet it's not worth being parasocial on both sides since you basically gain nothing from it people are actually leaking addresses and stuff online like come on man what are y'all doing both So and DDG value different things, and there's nothing wrong with that. DDG values money and the finer things in life. True. There's nothing wrong with that. He worked for it, and he can brag about it. So Illuminati values spirituality and seeking the truth behind yeah. the government and chicken sandwiches. Again, there's no- <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, bro. Um, that's the beef, bro. That's the beef. Five years, for real. In this five years, y'all could be friends or something like that. But no, nah, guys. If it's listen, if it's true that um, it began at 
at Soul Illuminati. We all know how he is, you know. Like, this guy will speak his mind. He don't care how he do it. He will do it. So maybe in that time of period, I think Soul was not his self. Or his self, but still, how can I say it? Not spiritual enough at that moment. But... <laughs> I was not at that picture. You was right. I'm not gonna lie. She, she, she looked like a man, but I understand the part of DDG as well. You know, like a, a cousin stepping up for his cousin. So I understand that part. But um, I think you know, on a private note, you would solve it. You know, if you know, if you understand me, like they had each other's numbers, so it would solve it like in a minute or something like that. But the way he solved it, I understand that. You know, like. So Illuminati as well. So So Illuminati would go to his city to play basketball. Uh, to his city. And after, you know, you know, that comparison is just, it's, it's, it's crazy. But yeah, tell me down below what you thought about it, What you think about this beef. And uh, tell me, you know, who, who's team you on right now? You know, I got, I'm on nobody's team right now. Just in the back, just looking and admiring two legend YouTubers. So, yeah, man. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. See you guys. Air Force.